unbelievable. It is becoming obediently evident that May 29th is no longer sacrosanct. But having 25% in the FCT is becoming sacrosanct. <laughs> The reason why APC are spreading the rumor of a papa is an indication that Peter Obi is winning. They want the case withdrawn at all means because they don't have valid case to win. APC are restless now because there's a great handwriting on the wall. Recently yesterday, a case has been filed against the CGN by well million Nigerians to stop the inauguration. This is a big plus added. It is unfortunate that a papa is offering himself as a scapegoat. With so much appreciation, we welcome all our esteemed viewers back to our YouTube channel, Everyday People's Voice, an astounding news outlet that is devoted to bringing you the latest news, headlines, current affairs, business and political news around Nigeria, where, when and how it happened. For as you all know, we are the window to the world. Thank you all for tuning in. But before I go further, if this is your first time of coming across our news channel, please be so kind to like our page, Subscribe and share our videos so that the good Lord will continue to be blessing you. For you also is a truth ambassador. It may interest you to know that the Labour Party presidential candidate in the 2023 election, Peter Obi, said he will remain in Nigeria and continue to insist on what is right saying, I will be president of Nigeria, in his own words. Obi, who came third with 6,101,533 votes, is in court to challenge the outcome of the presidential pool. Speaking on Friday, during the launch of a book written in his honor, Peter Obi, Many voices, one perspective, which was held in Oka, Anambra State. The former Anambra State governor said he is convinced in his spirit that he will be president. His words, and I quote, Anyone who thinks I am in transit is wasting his time. Let me tell you, I must be the president of this country. I am sure of that. If it is not today, it must be tomorrow. Other people who want to be should come and tell us what they want to do and how to do it. This is my country. I don't have dual citizenship. If anyone thinks I am going to run away from Nigeria, they are lying. I have three engagements in Anambra and Lagos today. I will be speaking in Lagos tonight. We will not leave Nigeria. I am not in a hurry to become the president, but I know it must happen. For three years, I was in court in Anambra to reclaim my governorship, just to challenge the process. Many people tried to discourage me, but I said even if the entire four years tenure elapsed for us to prove a point and correct the process, I will be fulfilled. My argument is that let's do what is right. I always tell everyone that I will not give people money to do the wrong things. I have been the chairman of a committee, Ted Fund Committee, and Professor Mahmoud was my member. We know ourselves, but when he became an ex-chairman, I have never met him 
I told him, you are an umpire. Just do what is right. If you have the chance to do the right thing and you insist on perpetuating anarchy, then it will consume everybody one day. I insist that we must do the right thing. I was at an event yesterday in Abuja and it was for the World Food Organization. I listened to a report that stated that Nigeria will face intense hunger in years to come. It is Nigeria that we face hunger, not Peter Obi. The report listed Bono, Adamawa, and Yobe as the states that will be worse hit. But those three states put together are five times larger in land mass than Israel. Yet, Egypt exports food, but Nigeria cannot feed itself. What a pity. So, we must cultivate a habit of doing the right thing. If we don't do the right thing, it will consume us someday. One of the editors of the book, Professor Shinere Okuna, in a remark said the launching was geared towards raising funds for the financing of the matter before the presidential election petition tribunal. We believe in Peter Obi is not a saint, but among all the other people who contested to become president, none comes close to him in humility, education, love of the people, experience, and knowledge. Litigation is a very capital-intensive project, and we want to support him through this launching. It was very clear that Obi won the election, but we want to call on the judiciary to be upright in their judgment and do the right thing, he said. <laughs> My country people, I don't listen to what Peter Obi open the mark to talk today. The man is very confident that he's going to be the president of this country. Well, they say also, even in lawyer, in lead counsel, they say the man never lose case once. And that one can't fear me pass. I say, where Peter will be for bring this guy man come? They say never lose case once. Well, all of them are part of the tribunal story. But the truth remains that I never will be the umpire. Don't spoil the thing from starting. So, the only hope for the common man is the judiciary. So, make we look whether the judiciary itself don't collect their own, the way I don't collect their own sins. But if judiciary don't collect their own, let me say, the soup don't spoil. You don't say Nigeria. <laughs> there are things they had where well. <laughs> If something is for Nigeria to repair and they had a whole asshole rock get generator, make you know say any government will get generator for asshole rock not ready to bring or give us light. Anyway, our comment session they open for now to choke my for this matter where they go on now. So make we know what you want to think and how now they feel about them. I go see you now for my next video. I beg until then, now only Nigeria we get. Make we put us together to help Nigeria. Thank you.